many great yogiisms, and we are highlighting a lot of them here on Sports Center. There's too many to give you all of them. Here's a good one. How about baseball is 90% mental, the other half is physical, as we remember just a great, great man, Kevin. Hour. Great to be with Jamie Sire and Carrie Champion of Kevin Agani ahead on this live sports center. We'll be live with four different teams that have started 0-2. The Eagles, the Ravens, mm -hmm. the Colts, Same. and the Saints, yeah. all in desperation mode here, Carrie. Is it time to panic or no? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> Kevin, not only will we hear from our reporters live at those sites, but we will have press conferences from the Eagles, Chip Kelly. Brace yourself mm. and the Ravens, John Harbaugh. Yeah, we don't want to miss any of that yeah. NFL coverage, but we're actually going to start the morning by celebrating the life of a baseball legend and American icon, Yogi Berra, who passed away last night at the age of 90, and he is remembered with great, great fondness. And you know what? This really puts it in perspective. The Yogi Berra Museum tweeted this incredible stat out earlier this month. Yogi caught both. You know, silence speaks volumes, Kevin. Uh, we're going to talk about a different 0-2 team, the Seahawks, and they get a boost because Cam Chancellor ends his holdout. He is going to report to the team. He didn't participate. This thing plays out. Yeah, shortly, so potentially. So it's Wednesday. There's always a ton of big news. We just talked about two of the stories. We're also waiting on... Carrie, we've been highlighting the yogiisms all morning. So how about this one? The future ain't what it used to be. Who knows what the playoff future holds for Barra's beloved Yankees. But one thing is for sure. They're not going away quietly. Last night, they came to a fork in a road against the Blue Jays. You don't see me. In case you missed it, we see Carrie. You don't see me. <laughs> and my, my fall launder like. You're ready to go. I'm ready for the fall. Yes. What do you know? I like it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, in case you missed it, there's a lot of things you've missed, Kevin. There could be some things you missed as well. Uh, always. But I'm here. I got you covered. Um, Thankfully. We're going to have a lot of fun with one of our colleagues. Oh, this should be funny. <laughs> this should be really, really good. So I feel bad anyone, he's not here to defend him. Oh, we're, trust we're me, he's getting about, a kick out of this. Uh, our analyst, Danny Cannell. I, God bless him, right? Here he is. He is um, with Alex Morgan. My girls are going to be jealous. Got to see Alex Morgan today. What's that? Yeah. What, what is that? <laughs> That's a Merce. If you didn't know. <laughs> Not a man purse, but just a purse. I'm yeah, gonna put the two words together. He says it's a backpack. You can't get away with a backpack there, right? Yeah, but uh, apparently he does a lot of things like that. You saw him with Oh, what? he had a little beetle on here. Uh -huh. uh, and I was like, what is that on your lapel? Uh -huh. John Saunders claimed it was a, a mooch. So a purse and a mooch. Yes. If I ever see you wearing a purse and a mooch again, Danny, bad things will happen. Mooch is uh, men's Remember throat. the hit you took in college? Oh! You're going to get another one of these. We'll show it to you again. Remember that hit you took in college? Good night, Danny. Yeah. Aww. You're going down, Canal. I love Good you, night, Danny. Danny. <laughs>